Hi everyone, in this small video, we will try to understand, we will try to learn how to convert a given galvanometer into an ammeter. First, we should understand, see ammeter is something, a device which is used to measure the current. So, when you introduce a ammeter in the circuit, okay, so if ammeter has got some resistance, high resistance, then it will reduce the current value in the circuit. So, we wanted to measure the current. So, since uh, emitter has some resistance, it will reduce the current. So, what to do? Emitter should have very small resistance. That is why what we have to do is, we should take a galvanometer. Okay. Then we should connect a very low resistance in parallel. So that resistance of this entire system decreases. Because in parallel combination, resistance decreases. Correct now. Then if uh, a very large amount of main current com comes here, a small amount of current goes through the galvanometer and remaining all the current flows through the parallel resistance and it uh, moves in the main circuit so that we are not disturbing the current actual current in the circuit too much okay so here what happens once this uh, low resistance shunt resistance is connected in parallel put it, since galvanometer and this resistance they are connected in parallel Potential drop across the galvanometer is equal to potential drop across the shunt resistance. I'll write here potential difference okay, across G across G is equal to potential difference across S. Potential difference across S. Okay. What is potential difference across G? Say the resistance of the galvanometer is G. So I can write IG into G is equal to I minus IG into S. I minus IG into S. Okay. Now, I'll write an equation for uh, S. Okay. What happens to S? S is equal to IG into G. IG into G divided by I minus IG. IG into G divided by I minus IG. See, based on this formula, a, a problem can be asked something like this. Okay. Try to understand. There is a galvanometer of resistance 100 ohm. There is a galvanometer of resistance 100 ohm. Current required for full scale deflection in the galvanometer. Current required for full scale deflection in the galvanometer is 30 milliampere. How to convert this emitter? How to convert this galvanometer into an emitter of range 3 ampere? Like that question they will ask. Then what do you have to do? In the place of IG, you substitute 30 milliampere. Galvanometer resistance, you substitute 100 ohm. Main current is 3 ampere. IG is here. Okay. Then you will get some value for shunt resistance. Then at the end, what you have to write? You will get some answer. Say you will get answer some 2 ohm. Okay. Some. Okay. Then you have to write 2 ohm resistance has to be connected in parallel with the galvanometer in order to convert this galvanometer into an emitter of range 3 ampere. Like that, problem may come problem will come uh, on this concept. Now, uh, what is the resistance of the emitter? Since S and G are connected in parallel, okay, resistance of the emitter is equal to Gs divided by G plus S. Gs divided by G plus S. Because we know when the two resistors are connected in uh, parallel, Rp is equal to R1 R2 divided by R1 plus R2. Okay. Now we know that resistance of the emitter should be small. Why? That it should not change the value of the current flowing in the circuit. Okay. Resistance of the emitter will become smaller and smaller if this S becomes smaller and smaller. Okay. If this S becomes zero, resistance of the emitter becomes zero, then it will give you exact value of current. So that is why we say resistance of ideal emitter is equal to zero. Okay. Hope you understood this. Thank you very much.